Hello everyone, good evening, Brandy Falcon here, and welcome to our essential oil class that we have here in our essential oil lifestyle group every third Monday of the month. Today we are going to focus on summer solutions. So I'm going to be offering you solutions for many health challenges that we have in the summertime. And these are not necessarily um, only experienced in summertime, um, as you will see, but they tend to get worse in summertime. And the solutions that I'm offering are non-toxic because a lot of the things that we might reach for are on the toxic side and not good for our health. So we're going to get into that in a bit. I just wanted to remind you, so we are going to be going for about a half hour. I want to keep it less than that. Um, but as you come on, please ask questions. And of course, I will stay on here and answer any that you have. But you may want to get a drink and really sit down and commit to this time. Um, at the end of our list is... Uh, dealing with the sun. So we're going to be making an after sun spray. So you may want to take notes with that, but that's going to be toward the end. First things first, safety. <laughs> so um, this is something that you are not going to learn on your own. Most likely if you're just buying oils off of a store shelf. So this is the great thing about having a wellness advocate like me. Um, is that you can learn that citrus oils are actually photosensitive. So this is one thing we need to be careful of in the summer or whenever the sun is just really strong. So um, yeah, we don't have to worry about the strength of the sun so much here in the Bay Area during other times of the year. But if you're traveling to Hawaii or some other tropical place, you will want to be mindful of using citrus oils just aromatically to uplift your, mu your mood. You can still be ingesting them, putting them in your water. Remember, this is only specific for doTERRA essential oils that you're talking about, or you can ingest them to help move your bowels and um, benefit your digestion and help to support the detox organs of your body. So you could still use the citrus oils that way. If you're going to use them topically, because there are some benefits with that too, then just make sure that you put them on a place where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> so under your clothes or just use them at night too. So word about safety first. And now we're going to go through a list of things that um, you may want some help with. So I'll read off the list. You may want to skip forward if you're watching the replay, um, but I think most of us will be interested in this whole list. <laughs> so the first is bug repellent. We're gonna be talking about bug bites, um, poison oak or other rashes that might come up in summer, so even heat rash. Uh, indigestion, uh, if you are visiting places that don't have high quality food. And then sunburns. So let's start with bug repellent. I was just up in Reading visiting my family and it is necessary for me to pack bug repellent all the time. My mom has a pond, so there are always mosquitoes there and I am a mosquito magnet. And that's disturbing to me because mosquitoes are gross and they carry <laughs> things we, we have no idea um, what they carry and we don't want them injecting that into us, right? Um, there are many essential oils that help to repel bugs. And remember, this is a function of essential oils on a plant. They help attract um, pollinators, so insects that help to prolong their life and to help them breed and um, exist. And then they repel animals or other insects that might damage them, eat them. So same thing with essential oils when we use them with our health and on our body. So there are many um, essential oils that help repel insects, insects that tend to bite us. <laughs> um, but doTERRA has Terra Shield. This is a blend that includes um, 
So first of all, this is already diluted. And I did not realize this. It's already diluted. So you can just put this all over your body. Um, but it also comes in a spray bottle. And you could put it in your own spray bottle too. But uh, it has, besides the fractionated coconut oil, ylang ylang, um, and then a few oils we don't have on their own, like tamanu, nutka, um, catnip, litsia, and then just a couple that we do have, cedarwood, lemon, eucalyptus, um, and arbor vitae. So this is a great blend to use on its own if you don't want to mix several essential oils together, but you can work with separate ones on their own, like um, Arbor Vitae and Cedarwood. This just has a wider range of effects, so it can repel <laughs> more insects than just a few essential oils. And since I just found out that this is already diluted, I also learned that as this goes empty, I can simply pour a bottle of the 15 milliliter Terra Shield into here if I want to use the spray bottle. Um, so you may be interested in that too. So next, bug bites. There is a list I have on a blog post that I did, and I will put this up in the next few days. I'm actually gonna be putting this video in that blog post, um, but I have a list of essential oils that help with certain bug bites. So I'm gonna bring that up now. Um, but you should know that lavender is a natural antihistamine. So whenever you have a bite that swells and is itchy, you'll want to use lavender on that. But if it's one that has a lot of pain and built up toxicity in it, then you want may want to include more essential oils or different essential oils. So like with bee, wasp, or hornet stings, you'll of course want to remove the stinger, but then use a cold compress which will be nice and soothing with Roman chamomile on it. So Roman chamomile is so gentle, you can use it on babies and you can definitely use it neat on the cold compress or washcloth and then just put that on the sting for several minutes. Um, and careful, <laughs> my son was just stung. And actually we got some kids together in our community. They've been playing together this whole time. We're like one big happy family, but they were playing on our lawn in the clover where there were a lot of bees and a few of them got bee stings that day. So Roman chamomile is a great one to use. Lavender can also help, but uh, chamomile is the go-to oil. Mosquito bites. So they get red and itchy. Lavender will be the best essential oil for those. Spider bites, according to my Modern Essentials book, which is one of the resources that I use to help my family and my clients. Um, I also use the Oil Life book and the Advanced Oil Magic book that I give to customers for free. Um, but basil is the one indicated in that book for spider bites. So just like bee, wasp, and hornet stings, you'll want to use a cold compress with the basil and put that right on the bite for several minutes. Now tick bites. This is a tricky one. And um, I have seen information on online that putting peppermint on the tick, which is in your skin, will help remove the tick. That is true, however, I have also heard that they tend to expel everything that's in their mouth. Um, and so that is not so good, that they're actually putting toxins in your body. And I don't know if this is true or not, but, um, but I do believe it, that if it's being threatened, it's going to have some reaction, right, before it wiggles its way out. So it's always best still to pull the tick out by its head and I forgot to get, we have this cool little um, metal thing that will gently pull them out. Um, I don't know what it's called, but if you're interested, I can give you the information on that that my husband picked up. But you know, tweezers work well too. 
my son had a tick in his eyelashes last year. It was so disgusting. <laughs> but we got the tick out. Um, it was only there for a couple hours. We had just gone for a hike, so we knew it was from that because his eye was hurting right away. We pulled it out, and then we used um, lavender. So you can also put lavender on a cold compress. I believe that's what we did for him. Again, it was last year, so I don't quite remember. Um, but if the area is accessible, so not right on the eye, but you can just drop lavender on that area. And if you catch it quick enough, you can just be putting, reapplying the lavender over and over, and it will help release any toxins that are local in that bite. So if you are worried about Lyme disease or anything like that, just make sure you start treating it right away and you'll probably be good. I mean, especially if you get the tick out within a day, it really needs longer than that. I've heard up to three days is when you need to start worrying, but just to be cautious within a day. <laughs> and of course you could do what you want, but I felt safe that uh, we still kept the tick but I felt safe that he wasn't harmed. So essential oils for the wind to help treat that bite. So that is bug repellent and bug bites. Now poison oak, um, I this is not bragging. I'm, it's just lucky that I have actually never had poison oak. I know many people who have, and I feel really bad. Um, with the suffering that these friends endure. Um, essential oils can definitely help relieve the itchiness and the swelling with that. However, um, if these are not working, so again, the Modern Essentials book says that rose, lavender, and Roman chamomile are indicated for poison oak. Um, but I know from experience that with rashes like poison oak, my son had something else um, that was suspiciously like um, a disease that I can't really mention on here, <laughs> making this video public. Um, but it was an oozy red rash similar to poison oak that was contagious. If you put oil on that, in Chinese medicine, we consider those types of rashes damp heat. And in this situation with my son, the oil actually spread the infection. It did clear it up a bit locally, but then there were smaller sores um, further out because it was on his chin. So we started using a compress instead. Um, just like I mentioned for the bug bites. So that definitely helped. It didn't spread anymore, but it was still damp and oily, an oily rash. Um, so instead we used an herbal wash called Yin Care. And if you're interested in this, I can hook you up. <laughs> um, I think you could still get it on Amazon and um, other uh online stores, but I get it from my acupuncture supply stores um, because this is a Chinese medicine herbal wash, but it dries the area. So you remove the dampness and you're still treating the infection with these herbs. So yes, calamine can also help to dry up the area, but it is a medication. There are side effects with that. But still, if you're desperate, of course, if this is short term, you can use that too. And maybe alternate using the essential oil compress with the calamine, or you can layer them, putting on the essential oils first with the layer over it. So whatever works for you. Um, but that's my info for poison oak. Um, and I just wanted to mention too, you can't see here, but I have a little patch of eczema as well, which again is like a damp heat rash. So um, usually with this type of rash, it's an internal situation. So I'm trying to support my gut in order to clear this up, but of course, helping the um, local area from the outside, uh, again, is going to help too. So I've been using a cold compress on that while also being mindful that this is an internal imbalance that I'm trying to treat. But I've been using yin care on this as well. 
All right, so let's get into indigestion. <laughs> um, so I know a lot of us aren't going to fairs or amusement parks at this time, but those are generally the areas where we eat crappy food and that affects our digestion. And if you have a long car ride <laughs> with that, it can make it worse. Of course, just car rides on its own. Um, if you have a family member who has um, car sickness, then, um, then that can make the stomach queasy as well. So essential oils can help with all of those situations. Um, Digest Zen is the doTERRA blend that is my go-to. It has peppermint in it, anise, uh, fennel, uh, I believe cardamom is in it too, uh, coriander, caraway, oh, so not cardamom, uh, tarragon, fennel. So a lot of the Indian spices that you might see at... Um, at an Indian restaurant that <laughs> you could get afterwards to help with your digestion. That's what's in this essential oil too. So you can take it internally, but if you are having stomach pain or bloating or constipation that may come from that too, you can dilute this essential oil and put it locally on the stomach and maybe even rub the stomach in a clockwise direction in the movement of, um, bowel the bowel movement and um and that will help support your indigestion so if it's nausea from car sickness you can put those essential oils on your wrists um there's a point a little bit down from the wrist about two to three inches down that is very good for nausea so you can put the essential oils right on that point too smelling the es essential oils may help as well with the nausea but as you put the digest zen on your wrists, that will be absorbed through the skin, get into the bloodstream, and help to support your body from the inside too. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about that. Of course, avoiding the food <laughs> is the best thing you can do. Um, there's more with your diet that I could talk about here. Um, but... Uh, we want to have fun in summer too, right? So it's understandable when we have a bit too much sugar or greasy foods, um, at least you know there's a way to manage it. So let's talk about sunburns now. And actually, you can use essential oils for um, a sunscreen, and there are several recipes for that. Um, doTERRA does not sell a sunscreen on its own, although they do have a diaper cream <laughs> that has zinc oxide in it, and, and that can, um, you know, form a barrier from the sun, too. I love getting sun. Um, it is important to get periods of the day, especially in the summer, especially right now when we've been forced to stay inside to protect ourselves from a virus. We want our vitamin D levels to be very high in order to fight it. So this is a very, very important vitamin that our body needs for immune defense. So I suggest that you go out into the sun unprotected um, for like 20 minutes a day. If you are very fair, of course, you will want to watch your skin. Um, it's only to the point where you start to get hot and a little pink. And that is where your body starts to make the vitamin D. So again, just enough to get that reaction. And that's a sign that your body has had enough. And then you want to cover up or you can put sunscreen on at that time. Now, if you get burned, that's where I want to help you today. <laughs> so um, we're going to make a little after sun spray um, that has lavender, frankincense, and peppermint in it. And I'm going to move the camera now. So there are very simple recipes. You could just put lavender on its own in a spray bottle 
with water. Shake it up and put it on your skin. And that is very nourishing on its own. But I love this recipe because it's even more healing for the skin. So in addition to lavender, we're also using frankincense, which we say is the king of oils, and it is great for cellular repair. And then we're also going to be adding in peppermint, which is very cooling for the body. So this solution can help heal your skin from a sunburn. It's also cooling, so it can help with, um, you know, feeling hot from a sunburn. But think about other, um, I mean, even just trying to get to bed on a very hot night and you're distracted by the heat, you can use this spray on your body to help um, you feel cooler and to rest um, so you can fall asleep quicker. And then if you have issues like hot flashes from menopause, this would also be a good recipe to make. So it calls for a carrier oil. And so we're using fractionated coconut oil. Um, this is usually in my backpack. And sorry, the label is all messed up here. Um, but this is the only carrier oil that doTERRA sells. And we're going to need aloe vera juice. Um, I've been getting questions about whether using the gel is okay. This is in a spray bottle, and I think adding a gel may be too thick to go through the, the spray um, orifice here. So I would suggest juice. It doesn't need to be food grade. It can be the, the kind that you just use in body products, which is what we're doing right now. This is juice. And actually, I should mention that this is great for digestion and for cooling the body down. So if you ha have any issues um, with indigestion, especially constipation, or you're just feeling really hot, this can help cool you down from the inside. So I drink aloe vera juice. This is a big part of my diet. But for this recipe, we're going to place half of the carrier oil, or sorry, fill the bottle with halfway with the carrier oil. Um, so this is a two ounce bottle that I'm using here. And it's half filled with fractionated coconut oil. I'm using this pump and it takes forever. So I didn't want to show you that part. Um, I'm going to put in the essential oils next. And I'm going to use seven drops of each oil you can use more or less depending on your preference. So let me just pause a moment so I can count. Six, seven. Okay, and that was lavender and then seven of the frankincense. And these are top 10 oils. These are oils that you will want to have in your home because they are so versatile. Five, six, seven. Okay, oops, eight. All right, so we're going to fill the rest with the aloe juice just up to the top of the body here. Okay, I'm going to drink the rest. <laughs> okay, and you simply put on the top, spray sorry, shake before you spray. And I'm actually going to put a label on here. If you start making DIY recipes like this, you'll want to get some labels because you'll have bottles like this all over the house. <laughs> all right. So because it has the fractionated coconut oil in it, it's very emollient. So as I put it on my skin here and rub it in, it has a nice sheen to it. It absorbs into the skin because of the carrier oil and very, very soothing. So it's even just a nice spray to use on your skin to nourish it in general. All right, so that is all I wanted to show you today. Um, I'm gonna make some graphics for most of these health conditions with 
the essential oils as solutions that I'll put up over the next few days. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you don't have these oils already and you are a doTERRA customer, of course you can order those on your own. If you are not a doTERRA customer already, you can message me and we can help um, get you set up with a wholesale account, which is what I recommend because you get 25% off of retail. Um, so there is, if you're watching this in July, there is a special for this month only where if you enroll in um, with the wholesale account with $150, then you'll get $50 free next month in August. Okay. It looks like there are new questions. So if you're watching the replay, go ahead and put your questions here and I'll just answer them over the next few days. Take care, everyone.